this idea of chirality, how could you identify if, you know, a molecule is chiral, right, or an atom, basically? So what is chirality? Um, you know, the book uses this stupid, stupid stuff, superimposable, I hate that word. Um, but basically, chirality is saying, okay, well, if you have two something, right, that are, that are basically mirror images of each other, when you rotate, no matter what you do, you could rotate them, you could flip them. No matter what you do, they should not be the exact same. So let me give you an example. The United States have cars that have left-hand drive. In England, cars are right-hand drive. Now, if you take a car from England and in the States, no matter how you flip it, rotate it, you will never get you know uh, the right-hand drive from the you know, the right-hand drive from England to be on the left-hand side uh, as that of the States, right? There's no way it could happen. Now, you know, if someone out there makes that discovery and in some way made that happen, I am willing to take them out for lunch, buy them dinner, all that good stuff, right? So that is the basic idea of chirality. No matter how much, just, be, you know, we could get mirror images of each other, but they're not... You know, flipping them, doing anything to them will not give me the exact same thing. So, chirality is usually, you know, we always talk about chiral um, molecules and, and it's usually pertaining to, to, to carbon, which could form four bonds. Uh, that is usually a, car, or a chiral center or, or chiral atom. So, how could we identify if, an, you know, a molecule is chiral, a chiral? Well, here's a cue. Anytime you see a carbon that is bonded to four different things, that will always be a chiral molecule. Anytime you have a carbon that is bonded distinctly to four different things, and not four different atoms, but four different things, most likely, in most cases, that would be chiral. So, looking at this molecule, will this be chiral? Yes, because you could think of it as, you know, I could flip this bromine over here and flip this chlorine over here. Right, the iodine stays in the same position. It's kind of turning the molecule, right? All uh, right. So no matter how, so you know, let's see if I could put it on the side. But iodine would be right here, all right? Bond to this chlorine, well, bond to that carbon, and then our bromine will be over here. All right, hydrogen will still be coming down, and our chlorine now will be on this side, all right? And the basic idea is that no matter how you kind of Slip these two molecules, they will never um, be the exact same. So, in fact, this is my chiral center, and that is a chiral molecule or a chiral atom. How about this one? Where would be where would be my chiral center? A matter of fact, is it chiral at all? Is it chiral? The answer is yes. Um, no, there's two carbons. Which carbon would it be? This would be my chiral center. Right. Again, not remember I said earlier, not four. I said four different things and not four different atoms. Right. Because distinctly, you could view this as this carbon bond is bromine, this chlorine is hydrogen and this whole thing right here. Right. Right. And we could actually write this in a condensed formula. Right. Right. So. Again. This will be my chiral center, and you could just imagine um, this carbon having four different distinct things bonded to it, and you could just flip it. And once you flip that, there's no way, you know, having this over here and this chlorine over here now, right, will never be the same. That they can't, you, no matter how you rotate it, they will never be the same. How about this one? Is this chiral or not? Right? It is not. And the reason being is that drawing the mirror image of this, right? I could draw a mirror image of this, right? Now the chlorine will be something over here, right? And the chlorine will be somewhere over here, right? Now look, in fact, if you actually flip this molecule, right, 270 degrees, it will end up just like this, right? It will be the same thing, just like this. So this is not chiral, or achiral, not chiral. So in fact, that is achiral, 
Yeah, sorry for my horrible handwriting. I was running out of space. So, uh, but that is not chiral. That is a chiral. In fact, how about this one? This is chiral again, right? This is chiral because again, we're not talking about distinct atoms, but we're talking about can we locate a center with carbon bonded to four different distinct things? We have the carbon that's bonded to a hydrogen, hydroxyl group, a methyl group, and this whole group right here, right? All right, this this whole butyl group right here. So again, you could just view the carbon as being in the middle, and if you're about to switch the butyl over here, the methyl over here, and kind of twist the atom, there's no way they'll end up the same. And that's what we're going to talk about in nanotumors.